Hi girls. Um, so um, this is going to be your part six continued, um, but I'm gonna kind of go over um, the entire part after the front handspring first. Um, we kind of need to talk about um, the direction and making sure that, um, that you're doing everything correctly. So when you are doing these routines in your living room, I want you to kind of make a square. So kind of a space um, that you um, can work with to try to remember directionally where you're going. So um, this is going to be for the righties. So um, this is my square. And I just finished my front handspring. So you do your plie finish. And I will turn to the side towards my non-scrunchy leg. Circle, pop, jump, third position. Now, do you see how I was kind of slowly turning towards the left on each pose? So now, after third position, here's the part you guys just learned where you step. I'm turning a little more to the left. You step, fish pose, point, and then I turn a little bit more to the left. You're going to almost be making a circle with each and every one of these poses. And for starch. Okay, so I'm going to do all that one more time. So you did your plie finish, I step and pop, jump. Third position, I turned a little more. Step, fish pose, point, and I turn a little bit more. And for starch. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to review that part and I want you guys to try to find a space that you can kind of help you remember to be turning in a circle. So for the righties, you are slowly going to be turning to the left, okay? Um, but pay attention to remember, each dance pose is different. So out of the plie finish, you're stepping with your non-scrunchy foot into the, the pop into this part and then you go to your third position with your scrunchy foot and back. And then the next dance part that I just taught you, you're gonna be stepping with your scrunchy foot. So you're still turning to the left, but this time you are gonna step with your good foot. So you step with your good foot and you do your fish and point and then turn, okay? So you, it's all the little things you guys need to remember, okay? Um, what I just went over is super important, so make sure that if you need to rewatch this video a couple times, do so, okay? All right, we're gonna learn the next part. So, um, it's three different arm paths and it's pretty easy peasy. So, uh, we'll learn the arms first. So the first arm is going to be, you can put your scrunchie on your arm now. Your scrunchie arm is gonna be pointed straight out to the side. Um, horizontal and your non scrunchy arm is going to be curved over your head okay so like a one arm crown okay so stretch and curve from here this arm is going to come down to the side and then this arm is going to be slightly stretched so you're going to kind of look like a diagonal with your arms okay so Remember, scrunchy arm out, non-scrunchy arm crown. Then you're gonna switch, scrunchy arm up nice and tight, and then this non-scrunchy arm down. From here, your arms will go diagonally low. Okay, so from diagonal stretch to diagonally low. Okay, so arm out, crown, diagonal, and down. Okay? All right, so we'll put it with the legs. So you are in your third position and you're going to step, step, and then as you're going into your fish pose, you do the first arm. So the crown over the head and the arms stretched out. Okay, so from arms down, step, stretch. And then when you switch to the point foot out is when you stretch with the arms. Nice, long, stretchy arms, okay? So crown, stretch, and switch, 
And then when your arms will come down as you turn to your four stretch. Okay. All right, so you're in your third position. You're gonna step, crown, and switch, and down. Now, if you guys are super smart, which I know you guys are, um, this part is from your level three routine, so you just go your bump, bump, and up. Okay, so from third, you step half crown and diagonal stretch down and front side down. So from third, you step half crown and diagonal stretch down and front side down. Good. All right. Now, this video is super important because of the beginning part and talking about how you're turning a little bit. Um, if you have to make a square on the ground with like duct tape or something, to kind of help you directionally how to figure out, that'd be super great. Um, remember, I don't want you putting all of these routine pieces together. So you can practice the part after the front handspring all the way up to the three poses. And then the part before the front handspring practiced separately. So it's like you're practicing different chunks, okay? Um, good luck.